Good evening and welcome to City Limits, the show to provide you with information about the people, places, and events that shape the character of our community. Tonight we have a very special show. This is kind of the run-up to the Mayor's Ball, which is going to take place on March 7th at 6.30 at the Garden Villas on Parker Road in the City of Blackjack. Now the Shamrock Ball each year helps fund Valley Industries and this year we've done something a little different. We've actually interviewed and talked to the people that are really behind doing the ball and putting it together. What you see the night, the three hours that the event happens is a lot different than what really goes into putting it up. So stay tuned. After a car accident, Linda Davis needed CPR. Bill Hamilton needed temporary shelter when a fire destroyed his home. During an operation, Haley Reynolds needed a blood transfusion. Excuse me, may I go into that room, please? Next year, again Thank you for giving me blood. Thank you for giving me shelter. Thank you for saving my life. Support the Red Cross and change a life, starting with your own. Okay, welcome back. Joining me now is Megan Asakana, is that correct? Asakainen, yep. All right, I'm close. <laughs> from, she's the city clerk from the city of Ferguson. You're here today with fellow clerks that yes. do the Irish ball. What are you guys doing today? We are having a planning committee meeting uh, today to talk about the Shamrock Ball next month. Okay, well, it's a, it's a very nice event that happens every year and takes a lot of planning. It does. Let's move on to Colleen Wolf, the city yes. clerk, the city of Hazelwood. How long does it take to plan this? Well, we start our committee meetings usually around December. We start getting together and we meet once every couple of months all the way through till March, till the event happens. There's a, there's a lot of work in this, correct? A lot of work goes into it, but it's for the greatest advantage of all for um, all the, the uh, disabled workers at Valley Industries Workshop. Very good. Now I'll move on to Karen Godwin, the city clerk, city of Florissant. Mm -hmm. Karen, what? What is the most interesting thing that's happened? You've been doing this ever since the inception, but eight, this is the eighth one, is that correct? This is the eighth one. Mm -hmm. What is the most interesting thing that you guys have come across since you've been doing this? Well, you had to hit me with that one. Um, so many different things. This, the one big thing is that when we decorate the, um, the garden villas here, it turns into, looks kind of like a cruise ship. We just completely transform the entire place. People walk in who have been here before, and um, you know they just can't believe how beautiful it is, and it's just really shocking every year. Even though we've seen it, we keep seeing it over and over again. It's still just beautiful every year. Very good. I'll well, move on to Karen Robinson, City Clerk, of the City of Hayes, uh, City of Blackjack. I almost moved you, <laughs> <laughs> and you're my City Clerk. That'd exactly. be terrible, wouldn't it? Yeah, you're trying to get rid of me. <laughs> no, not really. What are what are some of the things that you have to plan for here when you? you know set this up I mean you know, you've got food you got entertainment what's some of the things you guys do well the biggest thing that we have to plan for is seating mm -hmm. that's one of the biggest arrangements that we try to make sure it's perfect and to accommodate everybody because we want everybody to be happy we want everybody to enjoy themselves and be comfortable in their seating arrangement well you guys do an excellent job because I've never had anyone well complain thank you they were unhappy well thank you okay move on to Denny Donovan the newest Remember, right, watch your question. Family. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, what does it feel like to be on this thing for the first time? That's a good question for a new it, person. It is, and, I, and I'll tell you what, working with these uh, ladies to my left, which I've known most of them since I've gotten in and, and been close with them, uh, it's amazing. I can't believe all the work that they've done. Uh, it, they're so dedicated that it makes me feel like I need to keep doing more. So it's a wonderful crowd. I couldn't ask for any more. So it's, it's been a pleasure. Well, that's great. Well, you guys do an excellent job, and we're looking forward to the Irish Ball coming up. Was it March 
7th? March 7th. At 6.30, correct? Yes, sir. Stay tuned for our next upcoming segment. Joining me now is the Honorable Bob Doerr, Mayor of the City of Belfont Neighbors, the newest member of the Irish Ball. Thank you, Norm. I appreciate it. Ball is, we call it. It's an Irish ball. Irish ball. Doris German, but that's okay. My my grandmother was Irish, so it was a mo she was a Moor. Oh, uh, there you go. What uh, this this is your first year being a full member. You've come to the Irish Ball. Yes. In the past years. But yes. Now you're a full member and you're one of the five member communities. Yes, I kind of wiggled my way in. <laughs> it's it's a very enjoyable ball, and and uh, having come the last couple of years. Uh, I went back to my board and I said, you know, we, we really need to start uh, participating in the mayor's shamrock ball and, and step up to the plate. So uh, that's what we're doing. And, and I was invited last year to become the fifth mayor and I, I didn't hesitate to accept. I was extremely elated that they would ask me and, and I'm, I'm so honored that uh, this year I actually get to wear the top hat and the sash that says mayor on it. Hey, that hat, it's, if you have a small head like I do, that, <laughs> that hat rolls on your ears. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid mine's going to go over my ears. <laughs> I think they got rid of that hat. They did have one that was really big. I put over, it went down over my ears. I don't know whose that was. But. Well, I watched Mayor Knowles last year. He was sweating, sweating, sweating with that hat on. And I go, uh-oh, I don't know if I want to wear that hot hat or not, but it's better than being in the hot seat all the time, so... It, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. We got all five North County mayors now. Part and of this. and it's, a, it's a benefit that's very worthwhile, and people should be thinking about contributing to Valley Industries. It's, it's something that uh, uh, people don't really think about because it's something that's always in the background. Uh, the Shamrock Ball or Mayor's Ball brings it out. It puts it in the limelight, and the people realize that they create jobs for those who otherwise couldn't have jobs. So I'm, I'm really happy about it, and uh, um, I'm proud to be part of something that, that contributes to people who otherwise would be left behind. Yeah, and this, this, this year, uh, the last couple of years, is really important that you know, people consider contributing to Valley Industries for a simple reason that they lost funding through the state a year ago, and now they're about to lose another source of funding with the Revenue Office because the Revenue Office donated a lot of money to them on a yearly basis. Yeah, but not only that, they, they're also uh, uh, overseen by the PRB, which really determines whether they're going to get funding for major projects. And, of course, they always have to go out and find the jobs that, uh, that keep them working every day. So it's a struggle for them, even though they're, they're not what you call your normal business. Um, it's more abnormal, but yet at the same time, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a business that gives people who otherwise would not have a job something to do so i'm really happy to be part of it there you are. Well, as i said welcome aboard now two final questions uh oh one tell us a little bit about belfont neighbors well belfont neighbors uh believe it or not the the word two words belfont neighbors is the longest name of a city in the state of missouri and uh the word bell fountain uh is derived from a french meaning beautiful springs. And Belvoir Neighbors is a bedroom community and it is a beautiful community, although we don't have many springs, but the symbol that we use now is a fountain. So it's Bell Fountain and some, somehow, somewhere, somebody decided we don't have the springs so we'll put a fountain on our logo. So it's Bell Fountain and I'm very proud to be the mayor there. It's my, I've been mayor four years now and I'll be mayor again another four years. Very good. Final question, mm -hmm. where'd you go to high school? I'm a CBC. I'm, I'm a CBC grad. Oh, okay. well. uh, yeah, I uh, I had two, three other brothers that graduated from CBC with myself, and I actually had five sisters that graduated from Incarnate Word Academy. So I've been around a while. Families. I grew up in Normandy, and I very good heritage there also. A lot of French heritage. So, yeah, I, I just love the French. There you go. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you, Norm. Joining me now is Kathy Bono, administrator of Delmar Gardens North, correct? Right, Kathy? right, right here in Blackjack. There you go. Welcome to City Limits. Thank so, you. As we look around here, there's no Irish decoration here, but it's coming. It's coming, that's for sure. Yeah. What, uh, you know, Delmar Gardens is such a fine community partner. This is what, the third year? No, this is actually the fifth year we've Jack, done oh, it here. Oh, my God, we've had it so many. <laughs> You're missing a couple. Yeah, I'm missing a couple. I was there. I was you there. were there. I just forgot. <laughs> what, uh, you know, Delmar Gardens 
it's such a community oriented organization that you guys spend so much time and effort doing this. What, you know? You know, when you're in a community and you're as big as Del Mar is, and we serve so many people, we also want our people to reach out and serve our, our greater community. And I think right now with uh, all that's happened in North County, this is the ideal time. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a wonderful <laughs> event. How many hours does it take in preparing, let's just say preparing the amenities, not the food, I'll ask you. The food. <laughs> well, the amenities to prepare here in the building, to get everything set up, it takes us about a day and a half. And an awful lot of people. Uh -huh. It's it. I mean, this the upper floor and the lower floor. Will be right, all three floors. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've never made it to the third floor. <laughs> well, you have to ride the elevator. Oh, okay. I have to. We'll see that. too that you do it this year. Okay. And food-wise, I know you guys have some food, and they also have some caterers. Right. Food. We have, uh, I think, ten different community restaurants that will be uh, serving food and then Delmar Gardens will take care of things like champagne and shrimp and cheese and crackers and and that's where and ice all sculptures the all the good stuff uh -huh. shrimp, I remember them shrimp last year yeah I'm a shrimp lover <laughs> my cholesterol went up 200 points it, looks, it usually will but it's a it, it's a wonderful event and you know the city of Blackjack and the mayors of the five cities that participate cannot thank Delmar Gardens enough for doing this along with Valley Industries. Well we enjoy having you here and it's for such a good cause. Valley Industries needs the help they can get to help support our young folks in the community and that's what we're all about. Very good. Final question. I ask everybody this question. Where'd you go to high school? I went to Labore. Okay, very good. Well, thank okay. You, Kathy. Appreciate it. Welcome, Jim. I'm Jim Guire, your executive, executive director, director of Valley Industries. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me on, Norm. You're welcome. Had a nice tour of your facility right before we started Great. here. Great, we enjoyed. Amazing, it. how big it is. Yeah. No, we've got uh, 207 workers working for us right now, and they just absolutely love coming to work every day and being productive and uh, being gainfully employed, doing all the different packaging and assembly work that we're doing on the production floor right now. And it's it's amazing how many different jobs you got. Yeah. You know, yeah. different skill sets and everything it's it's really truly amazing that, that's the real challenge when you're uh, when you're running a sheltered workshop is finding those skill sets and matching them with all the different customer needs and that's why it's it's actually a blessing when we've got 15 different jobs that we're working on the floor because it does allow you to 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 uh to match everything everything up exactly per worker as mm -hmm. you need to do what uh, i noticed as we drove in here you have a a store out in front now what what is Valley what Industries yeah. Thrift Store. Yep, Valley, yep. Valley Industries Industry Thrift Store. We opened that up in 2009 uh, during the height of the recession. We needed it both for work for the workshop and uh, to help our community that was struggling so bad. So uh, we had never operated a thrift store ever, and we uh, we were looking for a way to raise some funds with the recession, and uh, we did a three-day rummage sale that was very successful and uh, eventually mm -hmm. decided to open that up as a, as a store. It uh, Just in the last few months, we just started opening it up five days a week now instead of three, so uh, it's really taken off. So you just you take donations and then you mm -hmm. yeah if, if, if any of your viewers have any any closets or basements or garages <laughs> that they want to clean out we're always looking for don donations for the thrift store we like to say gently used items that we can resell and uh but yeah it's clothing clothing household goods furniture books movies uh you name it we sell it out there jewelry we got the best jewelry selection in town hey i didn't know that that's a yeah. that's a good thing yeah now where where's the for our viewers, where is it located at? We're, we're, uh, both the thrift store and the workshop are located right here in Hazelwood uh, on James S. McDonald Boulevard. Best way from uh, Blackjack is come out Lindbergh to McDonald Boulevard and make a left, and we're about an eighth mile down to the left. We're directly across from GKN and next to Boeing Building 220. 143 right. James S. McDonald Boulevard. Right, and you're, you're south of Lindbergh. Yes, or, I'm sorry, no, east actually, of we're, we're east of Lindbergh. East of Lindbergh. Uh -huh. So people should be able to find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and there's easy. a big red fire truck parked out front. We've got a, uh, our friends at the Boeing Fire Department donated a fire truck a while back. So just come on down McDonald Boulevard and look for the big red fire look truck. for a fire truck. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a good way to yeah, find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, um, I, I notice, you know, each year we have the mayor's ball, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is what, you know, this is going to be part of. But you have other 
methods of funding. And some of your funding in the last couple of years have been changing dramatically by things the state has been doing. Absolutely. What, what, are, what are some of the challenges you've well, faced? Well, some, some of the challenges we had with the workshop was just with our own funding in the last five years, uh, uh, the governor... Uh, Governor Nixon has the power to do a withhold on the budget to make his budget balance. Well, part of his withhold is withholding the sh uh, funding for sheltered workshops in the state of Missouri. There's 90 workshops employing 6,800 6, workers. And his 3% withhold has been impacting us uh, to the tune of about $700,000 a year or about $60,000 a year right here just at Valley Industries. And uh, so far he has not released a withhold in five years and now he's on track to do that again this year, which is going to be another 700,000 hits. So we're short at the end of the fiscal year every year trying to try trying to make ends meet around here. So his withholds have been one challenge, and then the other challenge he's had that I'm sure a lot of your viewers in North County have heard about is uh, uh, the awarding of the Florissant License Office away from the Florissant Rotary Club uh, to a for-profit business out of St. Charles County. Uh, that is going to tremendously impact the North County region because the Rotary Club has been taking all that money and donating it to charity, charity since 1994. So that's going to be a major impact. We're one of the charities that the Rotary <laughs> supports. And the Rotary was trying to help us out because of those other funding cuts. So now it's kind of like a double whammy for us. Yeah, and when you when you lose that much funding, it's very yeah. difficult It's very difficult to, to make operate this. Nope, that's where the, the Mayor Shamrock Ball, what, what, what you uh, mayors do coming together to host a Shamrock Ball for Valley Industries really kind of helps fill in the gaps on some of those other funding streams when, when you can't count on those. So we appreciate what you guys do. Well, hopefully the, hopefully the governor will get the message and release the funds. And we could use both. We could use maybe, the Mayor's maybe, Ball maybe, and, and maybe, the Governor's maybe, funds maybe, and he'll release them. Maybe even, you know, <laughs> press our luck and assume maybe. Yeah. They do the formula for awarding the fee offices a little yeah. differently, and yeah. they end up getting the fee office, or you know, they get the fee office again, which yeah. would help in the funding. Well, if any of your viewers want to call the governor and let them know what, what you think about the shelter workshop funding withholds, they can call the governor too, like we all are. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to, and during the show, we're also going to show some of the activities going on here at the shelter workshop, so people can have some idea. I mean, like I say, Jim, I was amazed at the size of this place. Oh, and, absolutely. Uh, we were actually walked through here before when the workers were here, and yeah. I mean, a lot of workers doing a can, lot of different things. You can things. see behind us, this is a 27,000 square foot just a production floor. The whole building mm -hmm. is 60,000 square feet, but to have a 27,000 square foot production floor, you can take on all these big projects that we do. I mean, these mm -hmm. are big international corporations that we're doing work for, including our friends right here in Boeing and St. Louis. So we appreciate all of our businesses, especially these uh, the ones that provide some really good work for, for the everyday work. That's what we're really looking for is some of those everyday jobs that are hard to find. Mm -hmm. well, sounds great, Jim. Thank you good. for the interview. And uh -huh. Thank you very much. We'll come back sometime and do a pool feature. Good deal. Kind of thing. Appreciate that. Thanks okay. for all that you do, Mayor McCord. You're welcome. Good evening. Yeah, this all got started um, well, eight years ago. Uh, uh, I went to the uh, Mayor's Mardi Gras Ball in downtown St. Louis, me and Colleen, and uh, great event. And I'd been looking for something for Valley Industry to for a fundraiser. and. Uh, on the way home, I looked at her and I said, "I, you know, I think we can do something similar at, for uh, Valley Industries, and that's where it all started. And we came up. You know, you look at the time of year, and right after Valentine's Day, et cetera, We thought, you know, Shamrock Irish, it's a g good way of doing it. You look at it now, eight years later. Did you ever imagine that it'd be where it is now? No, I didn't. Uh, matter of fact, when I brought it to the attention of the board at Valley Industries, why there was a lot of people that shook their heads, going, oh, "I don't know if this will work or not." And you know, I said, "Well, you know, let's give it a shot. We need something that's uh, uh, really promotes North County. We need something that promotes the workshop." And and uh, you know, I went to at that time Mayor Lowry and and uh, asked him if he would be interested in it. And you know, def he said definitely. And then you know, I went to T.R. Carr at, at uh, uh, Hazelwood, and and then to Norm McCord at, uh, uh, at Blackjack, and you know, they all jumped on board, and it's been fabulous ever since. Really, the the people of North County, the the elected officials, the appointed officials, um, you know, really North County is North County. Um, even though we have our individual cities and our individual communities and that's what makes it so great because we are so diverse with that but when it comes to promoting North County and something that is a good cause like Valley Industries I'm amazed at the way that people get together and, and or come together and uh, and work so hard to get it done 
last year we welcomed a new mayor. This year we welcome a new mayor. Explain the process of how this has grown from the initial three. Well, you know, the, the other mayors see it and they, they say, well, you know, we really want to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, we, we're we limited by how far we can grow now. Uh, every mayor is invited. Uh, you know, we would hope a lot of people come. Of course, if they're going to, they got to get their tickets quick because <clears throat> this has become a, a, a great event and it, and it sells out. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, the city clerk has to be involved with it. Uh, that's one of the commitments uh, and the mayor has to be involved or give their support and then it's just a lot of hard work after that. What's it mean to you personally to go know that when you go home at night that you know you've done so much for the community? Well yeah, you know it ain't so much that I do for the community it's just what everybody does for the community. Uh, you know I've, I was police chief in Hazelwood for 27 years and uh, have lived here all that time and it's uh, it's a great community North County people people have a tendency to forget about North County and when you put us all together we're 400,000 people strong and 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 we're it's a great place to live a great place to work and a great place to have fun and this just proves that what do you say to people out there who they better get their tickets quick as we mentioned and we're running out for this year but if they miss out this year what do you say for next year uh, get your tickets quick for next year if you miss out this year uh, you know as soon as this ball's over with we'll be uh, uh, preparing for next year's and the website will be up at Valley Industries and, and you, you can buy the tickets early and you know every year we do something different to make it bigger and better and and you know this year is no exception and I'm sure next year will be no exception and uh, I look forward to it every year and being involved uh, uh, you know the the committee that we have uh, they're all a bunch of hard-working people and first of all they that they're doing it for a good cause of Valley industry so we can help these 200 plus individuals that that have real employment and to, to keep that employment and then uh, you know they they just love North County and and to bring North County together somebody walks in the front door what do they experience from the time they start to the time they leave that night well you know the mayor's ball is a great experience uh, as you walk in the door you, people get excited because they look and they see how Garden Villas North is decorated and how it's lit up. Uh, we had people from the beginning that we did this here at, at Garden Village, uh, which has been uh, five years ago, said, wow, this is like a cruise ship. And, and it really looks like that. But you walk in, you, you give your ticket, there's a big sign that says, welcome to the mayor's ball. And then you, you, you give your ticket, you walk in and, and there's champagne ready for you to have a little glass of champagne. And, and then, you know, you, you find your table and, you know, the tables are tight. We have to mention, we have to, you know, people, sometimes a little bit complain about that but to get the number of people in and and to get the interaction it's fun uh, they find their tables and then we have the Irish dancers a group of uh, uh, youth uh, little boys and girls that do a great job and you get to experience the Irish dancing and then the uh, the various caters are set up and you know we don't serve a, a big elaborate meal uh, we have various caters that uh, do uh, 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 heavy hors d'oeuvres type thing and so you get to do that and while you go to these places why Garden Villa has a little card that you can get stamped and that's for a free television or for a drawing for a television and then Bob Cuban you know everybody loves Bob, Bob Cuban and his band and they start uh, playing and we introduce the mayors and we recognize the sponsors and it's just an evening of a lot of fun and then we have uh, you know we have a live auction and to get people involved and we have treasure chest full of happiness which is a, a, a large amount of, of uh, liquid libation uh, that people can purchase a ticket on I mean it's just it's just a lot of fun a lot of good networking great evening and it gives you a chance to to dress up in your uh, ladies green dresses and the men's formal attire with a green tie and hopefully a green vest. Thank you for watching our show. If you have any questions, you can contact me at www.cityofblackjack.com or call me at area code 314-355-0400. Thank you for watching and don't forget the Mayor Shamrock Ball, March 7th.